My name is Joe Lefebvre, and I am with uh, Dr. Cott from Colleen, Texas, representing the Mechat Group. And Dr. Cott asked me to share the information that I've accumulated about uh, sheet music on the iPad. And uh, I will tell you that my experience is very limited. I had uh, a system passed down to me using Gigbook, and, and I found that it satisfied my needs. So I'll talk about Gigbook. But uh, there are other applications out there that uh, uh, may or may not be strong, or a couple of them are Fourscore and Unreal Book. And uh, number four there, you can all also use any app that reads PDF files, such as iBook or Kindle, etc. book uses PDF files uh, for sheet music, and these files can be in, in any, any form. I mean, they have to be PDF files, but they can, they can show uh, words, notes, chords, anything, as long as it's PDF file. And, and, and whatever you use to play your music with can be saved, basically, as a PDF file. Uh, one of the things that, that we've discovered recently that's a big help in sharing music is Dropbox. And it's a free, it's a free uh, cloud application whereby you can share files with uh, the people that you play music with, for example. Uh, again, we're basically talking about PDF files, since that's the, the main uh, uh, file that, that Gigbook uses. And we create them uh, a number of different ways. In my case, I had about 600 PDF files passed down to me from a, another musician, and I just added to that. And I, I take hard copies and scan them on my, my scanner and create PDF files from that. And there are other means too. You can you can create them in your in your computer through your print apps or whatever. Just any old way you can uh, you can uh, extract a PDF file. Uh, the uh, iPad. You have to think about your organizing before you just start throwing files in there. And in my case, what I did was uh, I put the iPad files in a separate folder. Uh, now I use a Mac computer, but I know a little bit about PCs too. So I know you can do that in both, both types of computers. And uh, the uh, it just sort of makes it, makes it easy to, to, to get the, the files down to your, to your iPad. Uh, and in many cases, I've found that I have duplicate file names, or du duplicate songs. In some cases, I've got files for mandolin, some for guitar, some for violin. And, and when you're dealing with Gigbook, you can... Um, you have to figure out a way to separate those names. And um, it, in another another case, I've got, say, a song that has maybe three, uh, in three different versions, each a different chord for the guitar, or a key for the guitar. And, and I just add, a, um, add the, the key into the song title, like uh, dash C or dash D. But you can figure out your own method for keeping them separate. The files are loaded through iTunes. And if you don't have iTunes, you go to the Apple Store, the App Store. And uh, iTunes is a free app from Apple. And they, they, they come standard on Mac computers, but you can certainly get one for a PC, uh, they, they have PC application as well. Uh, and, and I say here that you have to purchase Gigbook, and I'm not sure what it's selling for these days. I think it was $10. Uh, 
and you purchase that through the through the app store. Um, oh yes, I forgot to, to mention that you need to establish an account at the app store uh, as well. And, and basically, that just what they require is some means of extracting payment from you, whether it's a credit card or a debit card. They uh, uh, they won't even allow, allow you to download a free app unless you have an account with them. And I don't have a problem with that because I've dealt with Apple before and I had a, a security breach in my uh, app account and I was able to talk to the head of security at Apple and he assured me that, and he, he fixed my issue and uh, assured me that any time uh, an Apple account was breached that they had that they had the people that, yes, Doc, you got a question about that. Just one minute, look at the screen. Beverly oh, is, is calling us, but she's early, so she doesn't know I'm using that computer. That's the people in Virginia trying to call, so it's okay. Okay. She's just not going to get us. <laughs> All right. How well, are you compromised? How did that happen? Um, we think that, my, that uh, they got my somehow got into my my wife's credit card and got her and they went in and they changed the password they changed all the security questions and um i don't know exactly how it happened but this is the second time that it's happened to me in my life i had i had somebody uh extort fifteen thousand dollars from a bank about five years ago they got into the bank database extracted my information and uh uh, requested the money and the bank sent it to. But anyway, uh, Apple's on top of their security, so I don't have an issue with leaving a credit card with them. And if you deal, if you use the internet much, you will most likely have an Amazon account or other accounts where your credit card or your, your uh, personal information is, in, is uh, stored on their servers. Anyway, when you, uh, once you purchase Digbook and, and uh, using your iPad, um, I, re I, I would suggest that you go to the Gigbook website. And Gigbook is written by Deep Dish. And uh, go to their website, and they have some really nice uh, videos, short videos, to tell you what their, what their app does and, and how to use it. Uh, and now we're ready to start loading songs onto the iPad. Again, uh, we go to iTunes and and if we don't have the the uh, application on our computer, we can go to uh, the uh, Apple site and download iTunes for for Macs or, P or for PCs. Well, the Macs usually have them, so. Once we have iTunes loaded, loaded on the iPad uh, or, or on the uh, on the computer, you can connect your iPad to the computer using a USB cable and opening iTunes. Your iPad will appear on the banner at the top of the iTunes page. Click on the iPad uh, symbol to see the apps loaded on it and they will be displayed lower in the screen on the menu. Uh, if you scroll down to the, scroll the menu down, you will see the Gigbook app, app. You select it, and to the right will be um, a place to put the songs in, and there will be an add button there on the bottom right. It should be in the bottom right of your screen. Uh, the, uh, you click on the add button and it'll bring up your computer menu. Your, your, you, you, you do a search in your, in your documents in your computer to, to locate the iPad folder that you have where, you, where all your songs are. And then you select those songs, the ones that you want to put on your iPad, and uh, uh, you click on the done button on your computer 
and uh, all the songs will quickly move over to your iPad. It's as simple as that. Let's see if I missed anything. No. Yeah, this this is what the what my menu looks like, uh, and uh, up up here somewhere. Well, it shows my iPad here, and and I clicked on Gig Book, and these are the songs that have that I have on my iPad. They're displayed here. The first time you you do this, obviously you won't have any displayed here because your iPad will be empty. But the Add button is down here, and the Done button is up here. And uh, when, you, when you hit that Add button again, that'll take you back to your computer. Uh, uh, a menu in your computer where you can search for the documents that you want to add. So that's what it does, is it bring, if you've downloaded it from albums or from CDs into your computer, you can, this hunts for the, for, for, this allows you to hunt and bring it over yes. into... Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is strictly for PDF files. Now, iTunes is used many other ways. But this is strictly for the PDF file. For, for the for the tune itself. Yeah. So you can read the music. You can sheet music. Sheet music. This, this is for the sheet music. And if you want the tune itself, you can also load that to your iPad, and you can sync the tune with the sheet music. Using Gigbook, you can do that. Uh, opening. Gigbook on your iPad takes you to all scores where your songs are listed. Uh, the songs are lift, listed in alphabetical order, and uh, that's just the way it is, as far as I know. You can add or subtract or edit songs in Gigbook. You just tap on the title, and the file opens. If you want to make notation on the song, there'll be a, a banner at the top of the, the, the iPad with a pencil. You tap on that, and you can either highlight parts of the music, or you can actually write on the iPad with your finger or a stylus to change a note or a chord or whatever change you need to make. Uh, the, uh, there's a, there's a metronome in there as well that you can use with the music if you, if you choose to. And as I mentioned before, audio can be linked to a score. You just tap on the score and a little menu will come up. You hit details and then you go find the music that you want to uh, sync with this and it'll, each time you select the song in gig books, it'll, it'll play that song. Yeah, one-page songs work the best in gig books. Uh, multiple sheets, if you have multiple sheets, they should be in, included in the same PDF file because what you can do, and, and this is okay for people don't have all their hands and fingers tied up, but I play a guitar so I can take my hand and just tap the bottom right of the screen and it'll flip the page up, go to the next page. But they have, uh, aftermarket page turners that, that work off of foot pedals. If you, if you want to use that, we have some in here. Gigbooks offers many ways to organize songs. You can organize by genre, you can order, or, organize by uh, binders, they call them binders. You can organize by set books, a set list, I'm sorry. And when you get into the set list, you actually, it, um, the lists are saved in order that you want them to be in. They're not, they lose their alphanumerical preference at that point. So the set list worked out pretty good. Because you may want to play a B song or an A song. Okay, and uh, last thing there, when you, when you
when you email the set list, the PDF files automatically go with it. If you like, we have a few people that share the, the files, and, and, uh, and that, that works uh, pretty well too. And I think that's about the end of it. We're I've just got nine sheets, but as I mentioned at the beginning, we. This just sort of passed on to me. I, I learned about Gig Book through another musician, and he had already, he spent two weeks copying, or making PDF files out of hard copy that he had. And, and, and that's just gone down the line. I passed it on to some of these fellas here, and, and that's, that's the way we've done it. Uh, I've made a lot of scans myself, and uh, I created a lot of PDF files from scans myself, but uh, we, we've just been sharing. And, and Roy's going to talk a little bit about uh, Dropbox, which is... is oh. So I have a, these uh, fake books, which are PDF files. You can bring them from the fake book into, into this. It, it, you can get a PDF file anywhere. Once you get them to your computer, drag and drop, however you want to do it. Once you have a PDF file on your computer, you can get it to, to GigBook. Yeah. And that's that's what we were talking about earlier. We've, we've started using Dropbox because uh, uh, we'll have some new music that we want to share and somebody will create the PDF files, put it in Dropbox, and the other people that we want to share that can can grab it out of Dropbox. All right, if there are no more questions, I am finished. Thank you.